What's up guys, my name is Poinus Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys part 2 out of 3 on how to jailbreak your PS3. So this is a series I just created. It's kind of like a series where I show you guys everything you do you need to know within jailbreaking and everything like that. So in the today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install mods on your PS3. So this is very requested or highly requested by you guys. I don't know how many comments I've actually gotten from you guys asking on how you do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So if you didn't know, I'm going on a school trip and Frequel Gaming is going to be the manager of my channel. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new as I upload daily GTA 5 content. So manager is pretty much like he will upload his videos on my channel while I am away. So don't worry, it's gonna be daily videos. So let's get right into this. So what you wanna do is go ahead and make way over to game.utility. And then you wanna find the GTA 5 and you wanna click triangle and go to information. Now, if you are in the right update, should say 1.15. If you're not gonna go, you need to go ahead and update your GTA 5. So once you're done that, go ahead and go to install package files and go ahead and go to multi-man you gotta install multi-man i can't put a link in the description below just because multi-man is bound to firmware version which pretty much means that it's different from every firmware or kind of like an update you are on so what you want to do is go ahead and launch up multi-man once you launch up multi-man all you want to do is go ahead and make way over to your settings then once you make your way over to settings all you want to do is go ahead and find ftp service now on ftp service will be either be on disabled or enabled no timeout if it is on enabled no timeout you don't need to do anything now all you want to do is make a way over to your computer and you want to download the program i have in the description below and that's probably and that program is called filezilla now once you have installed filezilla uh, as you can see i have blurred out my ip address for my ps3 but it should say host and then that host bar you should put in your ps3 ip or you are going to put in your ps3 ip once you click your ps3 ip don't mind everything else just go ahead and click quick connect what you want to do is go ahead and make your way over to hdd0 game and then find the folder that says something underscore install now that's a gta 5 folder it's all depending on kind of what a region you are on mine says bless you will either say bless or bless but anyway find that folder that says something underscore install and then you want to find the folder or open up the folder that does not have the underscore install it will have the same name but not underscore install now once that is done all you want to do is make your way over to usrdir and once you're in usrdir you want to replace the update rpf and eboot top bin update rpf is for the mod menu and update or update rpf is for the mod menu and eboot top bin is for anything else kind of like a side mod so once you replace those files with the files you have you can make your way over to your ps3 again because now you are done now when you are over your ps3 you're pretty much done all you want to do is go ahead and go to game on multi-man and launch up gta 5 now that is pretty much this guys if you want to see a second or last tutorial on how to rtm on your ps3 which is modding through your computer drop a like down below let's go for 50 likes once we reach 50 likes i'll release the second and last tutorial so anyway guys check out frequent gaming as thanks for uploading videos to my channel and anyway guys i'm out peace